Hey all here OS Reviews, today we're taking a closer look at the Mustio Zen Box. This is a smart white noise sound machine that can not only cycle through various uh, alluring sounds which helps you relax and fall asleep, but it can also be used as a Bluetooth 5.0 loudspeaker. In addition, it also has a Qi wireless charger built onto the top, it can be used for playing music and also charging. It sells for around 40 bucks, which is fairly affordable, and the design is really clean. In fact, that's what really interests me to take a closer look at it. This company, Mustio, does specialize in design products for the home. For example, I believe they have a Qi wireless charger which is in the shape of a tree and they call it the tree of light and you can use it as a lamp, you can use it to charge your phone. So again, shows some attention to detail in terms of the design setting it apart from the crowd. And aside from the Zen box itself, we also get a quick user manual in addition to a USB Type-C charging cable. Reminds me of something maybe from the 80s or 90s in a way, has a slight throwback vibe to it. We have a felt cover on the front here, which is for the speakers. This little dial here, which has an aluminum knob, is used to change the volume higher or lower. And then what looks like a wheel here is actually touch sensitive. This is capacitive, and if you hold on this for a few seconds, it turns it on. And then tapping on it once will cycle through the various sounds and modes that it offers. The very top here features the Qi wireless charging component, and technically, the speaker part is also slightly slightly slanted as you can see there, and then on the back here we have the Type-C port for charging as well as a duration timer that you can set. So you can have it either be at an infinite playback or half an hour, one hour, or 1.5 hours, after which point the sounds will slowly just stop. Finally, there's also a headphone jack. So if you prefer to listen to those sounds yourself without disturbing someone nearby, you can just plug in a pair of headphones. The base here has soft touch rubber feet that prevents it from sliding around on a surface or a desk. Now one thing I will point out is the Qi wireless charging part only works when you have the device plugged into the wall. It does indeed have a built-in battery, but it can only power the speaker part, uh, playing back music or using the sounds when you are on the road. So anyways, let's turn it on by just tapping on this uh, wheel here. You can see the light chime, after which point it will start off uh, right now in the Bluetooth mode. We can also tap on it once to go into the next sound. This is kind of a humming meditation sound. The next one here is kind of the waves of an ocean. Next one here is raining and some thunderstorms. This one here is a campfire, so you can hear the fire burning there in the background. This one here is a lullaby, so it's a kind of a nursery sound. Might be maybe good also for kids or babies. This one is a flowing waterfall or a gentle river. The waves you don't hear as much compared to the other one here, which is more of the ocean sound. Tap on it again. The radio or just white static in the background, you hear that. This is the sounds of kind of nature or crickets slash insects in a forest at night. This is the sound of birds chiming also on trees and forests during the day. So doing a quick sound test using it as a speaker. turning it down there, the overall takeaway is the audio quality is actually not shabby at all. For something that's primarily advertised as a white noise machine, the sound quality is not going to be necessarily, say, hi-fi grade or the first priority, but again, for the budget price, I think it works better than expected. Bass is a little lacking compared to similar size speakers. Mids, however, and trebles is where it kind of shines a bit more in terms of the sound profile. Mids in particular get quite good in terms of their volume and loudness. It sounds pretty clean thanks to the use of Bluetooth 5.0. 
Although one thing I will say is the device lacks any controls when you're in the Bluetooth mode. So you can't play and pause, skip tracks, those things you still have to control on the phone or device itself. But overall, because it's using Bluetooth 5.0, latency is pretty low and also it's very clean. Moving on to Qi charging, the one on the left here, the LED is designed for Qi charging. If it's white, it means that it's ready to go. And when it turns green, it means that the device is on the right spot on the charger and the light here will be continuously lit versus if we kind of take it away, the charging stops and the light just turns back to white. The second LED here is for the battery of the speaker itself. It will also turn white once the speaker is fully charged. And on a full charge, uh, when unplugged, it can play back sound for around 10 hours or so before you need to recharge it again. So you can take it with you if you're camping, if you're on the road and still have it be functional. The fact that it uses a modern type C port is also pretty neat to see. Uh, even on something that's, again, pretty entry level and low cost. So that's more or less it as far as our hands-on review of the Mastio Zen Box, a white noise sound machine that also integrates wireless charging as well as Bluetooth speaker functionality in a very clean overall modern design. So you can check out more details if you are interested in the links down below. But for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the Zen Box white noise sound machine.